Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video here on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Caves and Cliffs update and before we start this video I just wanted to say I have not played on this update at all. This is my first time seeing the update and so it's all like gen reactions and me just like freaking out and reacting to it. And I'll show you guys all the new generation, all the new features and everything in between and kind of just talk about it and see what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and without any further ado, let's get started. Creative mode, let's just call this, uh, there we go, we got a name, all right. Uh, La Chitan, everything else good, okay. Uh, I'll put that on hard mode and, uh, <laughs> let's see this, let's see this new update. Okay. <laughs> Here we are in the new 1.18 update. Okay, this is boring, let me find something cool. Yo, there's a puffer fish, that's new. Oh, uh, wait, that's not new, hold on. Yo, look at this. Wait, I need to do something. There we go. I gave myself some night vision. Dude. Oh, I, I can't see anything anyway. Look at this. This is new. Uh, it ends kind of... That's kind of weird. But, yo! This is crazy. Okay, hold on. We're going to go into spectator mode. Oh, my. I have not... Okay. I, got, I haven't played any snapshots of this update, or I haven't done anything. So, this is all 100% new to me <laughs> there's a dungeon hey look at this that's cool um dude holy cow this is insane the amount of stuff i wonder if we can find any of the special caves there's one there's two oh the lush cave kind of turning jeez look at how big this cave is holy cow look at the size of this lush cave here whoa it starts way up here with an aquifer and then it it stretches down to he look at this holy cow diamonds hey diamonds hey anyway uh i thought it was supposed to be hard to find look at oh, more, more dude the geode spawned yo imagine like carving that out and like having having a base right here and it goes oh my gosh this cave goes from like floor level whatever this is called all the way down let's see we're at y level let me uh, wait, buttons. Okay, let's say we're at Y level 55. Y level 55, and you can go all the way down to Y level negative 40, 46. In one cave. Look at this. This is crazy. Look at this, dude. I can just imagine right now, like, imagine building a, a whole, like, dwarven village. Or, like, an underground elven village or whatever. Like, around this lava lake with the pillars and things and then having like a grand castle right here but that would be insane more diamonds hey Th just like oh my god these caves are insane and also the new spore blossoms i mean they're kind of new they've oh you can't see me uh ha, ha, they've been in the game but they're new to 1.18 these things are cool i i can't wait to play around with these yo it spawned a tree down here I didn't know that could happen. It spawned an actual legit tree. Hold on. I want to see what this place looks like without night vision. Dude, look at how cool this place is. Holy cow. This place is beautiful. Oh, oh you're, you're, you're blending really well as well. This place is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Let's find one of those dripstone caves. Oh, here we go. It took me a couple minutes to find one, but I found one. Look at this. Whoa. Again, going from sky level all the way down. Oh my god. And we have like the chain. There's a, there's a, whatchamacallit. I forgot what they're called. Uh, cave. Abandoned mine shaft. That's the word. Look at. Just. There's so much beautiful stuff in this update. It's crazy. Holy cow. This is a very small version of this biome, but it's still, it's so cool. I, I really, I'm so excited to play on this update now that we have it. Plusercraft updating soon, the hardcore world updating soon. It's, it's going to be insane. Oh, whoa, we've gone, we got to look up here now. Dude, this already, like, this may not look like a lot, but this is huge. Like, if you were doing a major build, you could have, like, a castle up on this ridge with a whole cascading village going down into this frozen area with the trading port here along the river. Look at the size of the rivers. Look at the way the caves cut through this land. Like, you could fall 
from Y level, what is this? 90 all the way down <laughs> to Y level negative 17 in one jump and get down to diamond level. Like if you were starting off early game, you could jump down, boom, there's diamonds right there. Look at that, that's insane. Holy cow, look at this cave. This is the biggest cave I've found. It stretches all the way over here. You have all the biomes for the caves. You got this here. You've got an abandoned mine shaft in the middle. You've got a geode. You've got these like massive dripstone spires. They look like giant stalactites reaching up to the ceiling. Look at this, like a perfect cone. And just this cave is insane. And it just keeps going. Like this cave is massive. This cave may be the thumbnail. This cave is insane though. Look at this nonsense. It's still going. And it just, oh my gosh, that this cave, this update's insane. Dude, look at, this looks like something out of a mod pack. Look at this, this giant mountain valley. Yo, that's, wait, hold on. Testing something real quick. If I go straight down, yep, lush cave. That is, they did do that. That's really cool. Anyway, sidetrack, look at this. This is the same mountain from the other view, by the way, but like, it's just insane. Like the new, this mountain is insane. Let's see if we can find any more mountains. This is really cool. Holy cow. Wait, not a mountain, but this aquifer that like cuts through and that's, that's so cool. I, I really like that. That's really cool. Yo, look at this fjord. It's a fjord or a ford or fjord if you, if you say it with the pronunciation. And then right next to it, this is a jagged peaks biome. It's, I wouldn't call this exactly jagged. It's more like a flattened. Someone took a jagged peak and hit it with a hammer a couple times. You know what I mean? Like they went smack, smack, smack. But this is, it's got a village off the side of it. This, how high up are we up here? Hold on. This is Y level 152. So not even that tall. I just, I did a quick locate biome search and this is what came up, but I really like the way this village is like on the side of this mountain. That's really cool. Let's see if we can find some more crazy mountains. One thing I have noticed while I've been exploring, it does, I, it does take a while to load in new chunks. There's a village over here. Look at that. Nope. Those are, those are animals. Never mind. Um, but as you're flying around, you can look down. You see it, it is pretty intensive on the world. I'm loading a three wide chunk of land beneath me as I'm, if I fly too fast, which I guess if you're like in a survival world early game, you won't have that. Oh, look, monument. You won't have that problem. But if you're in, say, I don't know, Elytra and trying to explore your new world, you may have some difficulty trying to find some stuff. So keep that in mind when you're exploring your new worlds. This is one of those new jungle biomes. Look at this. This is really cool. So first off, jungles already like jungles are really pretty with the color of the grass and everything. But like, look at this. I like this biome. Like it's got the jungle without the tall trees and it's easier to navigate. You can still find cocoa beans and then, you know, you can fall to your death down super deep caves. And then you got beautiful just land rolling hills. Like this is really pretty. What? Hold on. What the heck? <laughs> what is this? I thought they fixed biome blending. Hold on. Is this a different biome? We're in a meadow? Grove. There's one single chunk of grove. That is... Mojang, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's how this is supposed to work here, Mojang. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. That's funny. Also just, oh gosh, this is a beautiful biome. This is the new meadow biome. Look at, and then there's a beautiful cave. Look at all the flowers and the beautiful sunset. I have, well, I mean, I have night vision on, so it kind of ruins it, but wow. Let's find more mountains because I'm having troubles finding the mountains. Dude, imagine building a base surrounded by these mountains like on this little peninsula here you can have like a shopping district for like a server or have like a castle with the, like one of those star point castles or so many different cool things i think i think i'm gonna try to find one more cool mountain biome and then i'm gonna explore the new features in the game the new like items or whatever <laughs> i teleported to a windswept the savannah and uh well we found a shark fin Look at this! What? I teleported and it put me right here and I was very confused. I looked behind me. Dude, I, I guess, I mean, yeah, this is, this is, this is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty tall, I guess. Uh, nice. But I, I'm gonna keep looking for a different, different mountain, I guess. Look at how goofy this looks. This is why we play Minecraft. Look at that. <laughs> that is some funky generation right there. 
Oh, I actually really like that because you could build like a hanging base underneath of it. I've just been looking at all the windswept biomes because the windswept ones are the ones that are all like, they're, they're, well, they're weird. Like they, they got the weird generation. And so like, if we teleport to this one, you'll see, well, hopefully, hopefully you'll see. Um, oop, there we go. It's down beneath us. Oh, never mind. Look at, it, it's more like a fin. Oh, well, it's kind of floating. It's trying. But you've just got the more funky gen- Oh, there's a village. The more funky generation at the- at the more- well, the weirder- weirder ones. Last one I have to check is Gravelly Hills. Let's see if we can find- Oh, it's not very far away. Uh... There we go. There we go, more of a mountain, sort of. I feel like the biggest change, though, is definitely the caves. Going back down, these caves are crazy. And also, all of these are waterlogged because they're under an ocean. That's crazy. But just- these caves are just insane, dude. Just, I'm so excited to be able to load up an old world and give this a try um, and see what it looks like. Water flow, yes. So let's let's take a look at all of the new uh, items that are in the game now. Alrighty. I've gotten all the things that are technically quote unquote new in, <laughs> in this update. Uh, these guys you already had, but I gotta, gotta kind of throw them up there because I kind of fit along this theme. It's going to be a lot easier to get rooted dirt now, I think, hopefully. You're going to be able to actually get the uh, the small drip leaf. The small drip leaf you can find in the lush caves along with the hanging roots and the big drip leaf. And all of these things are basically just new things for the for the new, uh, what, are, what are they called? Uh, and the new lush caves. See right here, you've got, you've got the small drip leaf, the big drip leaf, and the spore blossom. Just all of these things are in the new, the new cave. Like, they're, they're, that's what, that's where they are. And... As far as new features go, it's mostly a generation heavy update. There's not a lot of new featured like b items because of course those were all added in 1.17 with the copper and all that cool stuff. That's why I built it out of copper. Like all that stuff is is 1.17 things that are now easily accessible in 1.18. And it was some servers I know you use data packs to add these to the game anyway and like this guy and all those and this one is just annoying to get a lot of, but it's it's pretty pretty crazy that this update is finally here after years and years and years of the community asking and begging Mojang, please give us uh caves and cliffs, give update the mountains, update the cave, a cave update. People, they, they, we finally got it. It's here, and now it's just a matter of enjoying it. So that's gonna do it for me, guys. I I've. I've got a lot of playing to do. I got a lot of worlds to update and play on. And just a piece of advice, as always, before you update a world to a new update, make sure you take a backup because things can go wrong. And if they go wrong, they go really wrong. So it's always better to be safe than sorry with that. Make sure you take a backup and then, then try playing on your world. Better safe than sorry. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, but hey, I'm getting that urge, that drive to upload again and get a little less busy with school. So hopefully we'll see a few more uploads here and there. Not sure what, just some fun one-offs. But I hope you guys have a good life. I hope you guys be of good cheer and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good life, everybody. See ya.